elderly people playing sport is a is a great combination. And when I first saw that the World Masters Games was coming up, I looked at it and I thought, oh, well, that's something I'd like to go at and and um, shoot. Uh, so I approached I approached Getty and said, look, I want to apply for it. And then they got back to me and said, look, would you like to cover it for us? And I said, yep, yeah, okay, I'll do that. Um, it was just a it was just a, an amazing event. I mean, the it was an event where there was no restriction on coverage, and that's a big problem with um, events like Olympic Games. You go there and you're designated a spot and you can't move there and you look across and you think, if I could be 10 feet further over, well, you know, there's a really good angle or a position, but you can't, you know, there's someone that'll stomp on you and say, no, you can't move. So one, you're, you're covering a, um, an event where I could walk you know, within a few feet of someone throwing a, a hammer or a javelin and uh, no one would complain and they were all happy to see you there to get coverage. Also there were no egos involved, you know, you, these people were out there to, well one, to have a good time and two, to compete. So they weren't out there, their whole life didn't depend on whether they won or lost or, or lost an event. Uh, the World Masters was just a nice event to cover. As far as photojournalism in Australia, it's, it's really changing. I think we've been a long time sort of picking up the role model that's been happening in both the States and over in Europe for, uh, well, for many years now. Um, over here in Australia, we've always had, the newspapers in particular, have had huge staffs of... I don't know, I know at the, at the Herald, Sun Herald and all that, we, there was staff of, say, 35 or so. Whereas overseas, they basically have a core staff of three or four and uh, the rest is basically farmed out to freelancers or people subscribe to agencies. It's finally starting to catch up to Australia. When I left in October 2008, a third of the, third of the staff left, took, took the voluntary redundancy, a third of the photographic staff. So I have a lot of young people contact me and say, I want to get a job with a newspaper. Um, how do I do that? I always feel bad about that because I think, well, you know, there, there aren't, there just aren't going to be the staff positions for newspapers anymore. But where, they, where, they, where the staff positions go in the newspapers, it picks up with the agencies because the newspapers go to the agencies. So there's still going to be the work. You may just have to look in a different place to, uh, for employment uh, rather than newspapers go to the agencies. But I know that you know there has been all those sorts of trouble, and, and that's with the sporting bodies wanting complete control over the images of their sport and what happens with it and who's making money out of it. So yeah, I think accreditation is a lot harder to get these days, unless you're with a major sporting uh, um, organisation. You've got all these constraints, and um, and they just don't want freelance people out there with shooting their game and possibly making money out of it that they're not, get, they're not getting a cut off. And I, I think that you know, the, the public deserve to be able to um, see coverage of sports that isn't controlled by the bodies that run the sports because obviously you're only get a, going to get a one-sided view of that.